You want more performance out of your brand new 9070 XT? Well, so do I, but I'm running into some issues. I'm gonna fully admit that they are definitely user error. The new 9070 XT performs exceptionally well with an undervolt. Before the tests are actually quite promising, I'm getting around eight more average FPS. So here's the issues that I'm running into. For one, my top monitor is an ultra wide. It's also a higher resolution than my Asus Strix OLED. And I'm getting double the FPS on average with the ultra wide, which doesn't really make much sense. So obviously as a semi-sane individual, I don't trust these benchmark numbers. I've never had this issue with my 7900 XTX, so I don't really know what's going on. I am gonna rerun DDU, because for some reason, my Intel driver icon is showing up in my task manager, but it's not installed. So it might have something to do with that. I really don't know. Here's why I have Intel drivers. It's because I actually swapped out my XTX for a B580 to do some other videos on benchmarks and stuff. And they went a lot more smooth than what's happening here. Another very strange issue that I'm running into is that my Reaver Tuner statistics still refuses to show all the metrics I want it to. I know how to use Reaver Tuner. I've used it for years now. It just refuses to work even after I reinstall it. So I don't know what's going on there. I might try an older version, but if you have any tips with that, let me know. But let me level with you really quick. As a small tech content creator, my goal is to make fun, slightly educational, and enjoyable videos that the average person can just sit down and watch. And in no way would I ever consider myself a professional when it comes to computers. Yeah, can I build one in 30 minutes? For sure. But that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to them, and I am learning that every single day. If you're familiar with any of the issues that I'm having, please let me know how to fix them. Any tips and tricks on how to get a more accurate benchmark as well? Those are definitely welcome. Doubt on the accuracy aside, getting eight more average FPS and some pretty good minimum FPS numbers with a negative 95 millivolt undervolt is actually kind of promising so far. So I'm really excited to get this video out. Already done some tests, increasing the power draw as well, and those numbers go up even more. It's, uh, it's, it's actually pretty nuts. Stupid thing almost goes up to 3.3 gigahertz. It really just goes up from there depending on the application you're using. And that's kind of absurd. I just wish my computer would stop having so many issues. They're, they're user error. Either way, 